Today, we've been challenging people to open up their minds and date outside of their comfort zones. Now, earlier, you saw a woman who's only dated men date another woman for the first time. Now, we're going to switch it up, and we're going to meet a woman who's only dated women and now wants to date a man. You got that? You got it? Because I don't. You got it? OK. Amber is an Iowa college student, and she's a lesbian and gay activist who was very secure in her sexuality. Until recently, Amber has been thinking about dating men. So, Amber, you're an, you're an activist, a gay activist, lesbian and gay activist. Oh, yes, yes. I heard that you founded some organizations, too. I did. Um, actually, in high school, I started the first Gay Straight Alliance at my high school, which is kind of a club for GLBT students to go to and feel comfortable G -O in. G-O? GLBT. Gay, lesbian? Bisexual and transgender. Okay. Um, I also am very involved in Iowa Pride Network, where I go and speak at press conferences at the Iowa State Capitol. Um, also speak on a lot of panels and things in favor of gay, you know, gay, lesbian. So activism. are you going to upset a lot of people by wanting to date men? Oh, yes. I'm sure. I, I'm, I'm sure. You know, I always say that it's, it's really difficult already being gay in a quote unquote straight world. Yeah. But, you know, to be possibly bisexual in the gay world is, it's just, it's even harder. It's kind of like a black activist. Black people, black people, yeah, black yeah. people. And then here's my white wife. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, we have one of Amber's very closest friends in the audience. His name is Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andrew, what do you think about Amber wanting to date a guy? I, I just couldn't believe it, because she just loves women. Like, she's a girl who, she's a total ladies' man, okay? <laughs> she's a ladies' man? Oh, I guess she'd be a ladies' woman. <laughs> why, why do you want to date a man? Why? Oh, God, you know, um... I think that for every young adult struggling, you know, on the verge of womanhood or manhood, I think that we all struggle with our identities a little bit, sexual identity being one of them. Um, for someone who's been exclusively dating, you know, women for most of her life, I'll admit I was just a little bit curious, just a little bit curious. Um, That's interesting because you always hear straight people being curious, but to hear oh, a yeah, gay I think, woman be curious is... I think it'd be, you know, just new. naive to think that only straight people get curious. Yeah. And I'll, I, I think gay people get just as curious. Well, Amber let our cameras follow her as she went on a date with a guy named Ryan. Check him out. With cake and art, they started to mix it up. Do you want a heart? I'll take yours. I'm ready to sex it up here. Uh, naughty oh, cupcakes. Nice. Naughty cupcakes. Yeah. Welcome to Cake and Art. That's what we do. Ladies first. Oh, you're so kind. I try. Oh, wow. This looks interesting. This is what you're going to be using today to make your special cupcakes, and you can let your imagination run wild. So, uh, you, you don't go on dates with guys usually? I've always been a little more emotionally and sexually attracted to women. Um, but I always say, you know, I try anything twice, so this is round two. Wow. And uh, if it doesn't work out, then we all know where I'm headed. <laughs> so you got a lot of pressure. I do have a lot, a lot of, pressure of pressure on me. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Uh-oh. Ah. Right, let's pick this. Mm. Wait, I think I put too much. <laughs> Any chance of you swinging over to... Ryan. Take, take Ryan. you guys now, or...? Oh, yeah. Trying to convert me, aren't I'm you? trying to get you back on like. There you go. How about you decorate another butt or something? There you go. So I think you've been dating girls for, for a while. You know, there's something you've been missing. I think you know, right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's feel this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, there's a little. All right. I think. I think a little. A little buff. A little buff. You yeah. work out then, or? I do. I go to the gym. So are you? Are you attracted to me at all? Maybe a little. How yeah. about you? Are you yeah. Attracted to me. Yes. <laughs> I think it's probably more this way, though, than oh. this way. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd like to be the first guy to give you a kiss. She definitely broke the lesbian stereotype. I was expecting to date someone that was bigger than me. <laughs> much to my surprise, I think that Ryan actually was a very sensitive guy. He asked me why I didn't trust men, like I'm a man-hating feminist or something, which I'm really not. Um, it, it made me think a lot. I thought the date was fun. I had a really good time. I, I liked the cupcakes, and we really got to know each other a little bit. I think I was definitely attracted to her. 
I don't know if the attraction was coming back at me as much, but I guess that's what's going to happen whenever you go out with a lesbian. All right, here's Amber's date, Ryan. Come on out here, Ryan. <laughs> Nice to meet you. So, how did she compare to the, the the straight girls that you date? Well, she's probably the best looking girl I've ever gone out with. I'd say. <laughs> really? Um, yeah, she was really cool. Not what I expected. How was your time with Ryan? Oh, we had a, you know we had a great time. Um, honestly, I could see myself relating to him more on a friendship level. You know, we were joking around a little bit, playing with you know the frosting and everything. Yeah. Um, Ryan was just he was a really genuine sort of guy. He liked, he liked you know he listened to what I had to say and. You know, I usually didn't get that a lot with men. I usually kind of expected more of a, you know, chauvinistic, egotistical, masculine sort of guy, and it just kind of goes to show you but that. masculine. Masculine, yeah, you know, not all guys are about sex, football, and Xbox. But he's masculine. And stuff. Well, sex and the football. Oh, yeah, he's masculine, you know, I gotta... <laughs> okay. okay, you don't like football, that's right. Do you think you would go out with a guy again? Oh, putting me on the spot here. Um, I don't think it, you know, it has anything to do with Ryan, honestly. Um, I probably couldn't see myself yeah. going out with a guy again. Um, like I said, if Ryan were a woman, I might have, I might continue might dating like him. Actually. How was that kiss? Because you guys kissed, but I didn't feel sparks. I more like you know Fourth of July sparklers and fireworks. But <laughs> I we had a we had a good time. Yeah, yeah. It, was we had fun. A good, it was all fun. All right, so Andrew, what do you, what do you think? Um, I, like, our expectations for the guy were the same thing. Um, I'm really glad he was really nice and everything, and we actually called him later that night and asked him to come hang out with us, and he came to our, his very first gay bar on Santa, Mo on Santa Monica. You went to a gay bar? bar? Yeah. How was that? <laughs> that was an experience. That was out of my comfort zone. There. Yeah. It was kind of a role reversal. It was out of your comfort zone. Do you think you want to date a man? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll be in a minute, this woman...